Kia ora, welcome to Busters. So, with my battery now assembled with uh, the new cells of <coughs> unknown capacity, supposedly meant to be 310 amp hours, but I can't even see what sort of cell would, would total up to that um, in a 3P situation. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm looking for 270 to ensure that I've got the power I originally purchased. Um, so that's charging now and uh, as soon as that's done we'll give it a test. Well that was quick. So it's fully charged. It's reached the end of charge there. So I've reset this just a few moments ago back to zero. And I've turned off or disconnected all of the solar panels so that I can't add any charge. And let's find out how much I can suck out of this baby before it goes flat. All right, well, everything's turned on lights and fans and stuff. It's a bit noisy in the bus so I'll talk out here. But in any case, uh, watching a battery go flat is kind of boring. So we'll skip that bit and come back when it's done. I do, however, have a couple more things that arrived from AliExpress just recently. So I'll just quickly show you them. Um, some little cigarette lighter plug things that go in a power socket of which I've already got a few and they have a standard 12 volt um, plug on the end which I quite like well it's not so much that it's a 12 volt plug but it's a, it's a standard I don't know what is it 5 by 3 or whatever, something like that it doesn't have to be 12 volts but very very commonly used for 12 volts also, um, some more switches. These ones are uh, a fairly solid sort of switch. I think these are good for 10 amps and they are, um, again, just a two pole. I quite like that they have screw on fittings, which is why I went for these ones rather than the push terminals. Um, and they've got a nice solid feel to them. They actually come with uh, a waterproof little condom -y thing. It goes over the top of it um, to make them fully waterproof if, if installed as such. Uh, just a few of those just to try them out really because I wanted to have a few different switches. And something else quite neat. Um, this here, a little, it's a little temperature gun. Uh, I've wanted one of these for a while. I actually wanted the next model up which goes to like a thousand degrees for playing with the pizza oven but um, they're just a bit expensive and these are very very cheap so you shine it on something it has a little dot to show where you're shining it and it comes up with the temperature of said thing um, you can shine it on people's foreheads when uh, they come to visit you to check that they aren't zombies but uh, I actually plan to use it to check all my electrical connections and stuff just looking for hot spots just that would suggest you know like a higher than normal resistance um, and to uh, I'm also quite keen on checking the insulation so I noticed the other day that uh, we had quite a heavy frost and there was a quite a good layer of ice on the roof but inside of course the uh, insulation was warm to touch and I would quite like to see just what that temperature difference is uh, between you know it's only about that far between the, the the ice on the roof and the inside of the spray foam so it'd be just, just be interesting to see what that temperature difference is and it'll also be quite good uh, to be able to see cold spots within the bus to see areas where I still need to do a bit more insulation work. Anyway, once the battery is flat, then we'll know how much capacity we've got and we can move on from there. Oh, all the lights are off. Let's see what I got. 
everything's powered down you can see the discharge fit defit down in the bottom right is off and the under voltage warning at the top right is on now the reason that's happened is because one of my cells dropped to 2.8 volts which is the end of the discharge cycle so what did we get? probably easier to see it here 264 Amperes. So we got 264 amperes, 6,853 watt hours out of the first test. So that means this battery is still short of the 270 I was hoping for at the beginning, but way better than the last battery. Yeah, not a bad result. Um, I mean, obviously more is better, but that's certainly more than what we started with, and uh, pretty damn close to the original 270 I was hoping to get. Now, bearing in mind, I guess, that uh, 3.55 volts is not the absolute maximum that those cells can go to, and 2.8 isn't the absolute minimum either, but it's, it's, it's a, a workable range where I could literally run that battery up to that and down to that um, on a regular basis. So as a working capacity, that's pretty good. Um, so that's pretty much the final configuration for the battery. Um, I'll, just, I'll just shuffle the cells around a bit and uh, try and get them mid-balanced and, um, and then that will be my battery pack. Uh, Next, I need to. Uh, so now I need to build the power board uh, to go with it uh, into its final configuration as well, from what I've learned about all my testing there. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe, press all the buttons, and uh, hopefully that means we'll see you again soon. Take care. Matiwa.